Okay, sir, if you're on. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I can't. Never mind. Um, okay, all the receipts basically going to be the same. Um, we got a little bit more from Job and Family Service only because they had another deputy. So let's get into the real meat and potatoes of it. Okay, 1400 deputies account. Um, you can see it went up uh, for salary. So, uh, a member of the court ordered us to put more deputies down into court since they moved. Uh, we put one at the veterans building. So that's all figured into that. And if you look at hospitalization, um, you guys paid hospitalization for one or two months last year. Yep. And that's why the big increases there because we don't know if you're gonna be that kind this year, next year. No comment? <laughs> it's gonna be a surprise. Oh, it's gonna be a surprise, okay. And then you can surprise Paul. You can surprise me. Uh, so you can see we went up by 1.8 million because when you add deputies, you add workers' comp, you add everything else to it. And traditionally, we're going around 10% for holidays and overtime. Uh, we got step increases coming up because we got some young guys there. Uh, we did our promotional test because we lost a sergeant, uh, two sergeants. So we had to promote them. And I don't know, we may have to appoint one more. I don't know. It's going to be a contractual issue. I told them to file a grievance on it. Okay, um, in a jail, again, you can see wages going up. We have a lot of increases, step increases for the young people down there. Then again, your hospitalization. I don't know if you're going to be that kind because it's going to be a secret. Um, <laughs> equipment maintenance went up. Um, it's time for us now to pay on our Jameis system, the contract on it, to fix it because it was relatively new and, and uh, we had, I think, three years maintenance or whatever it was. And how much is that a year? 39000 39000 And Melvese, we, we bumped him up some. Um, <clears throat> and believe me, we still get a good deal. If you look at Mahoney County, we're paying over a million, and we're still under half a million. But um, with the more prisoners you get in there, the more sick people you get. I mean, it's, I mean, same with the food service, you know, we had to jack that up some. And one thing we're going to have to be careful with, because um, we have the RFP on for the new food service. Mm -hmm. And since there's no media here, uh, Trinity yeah. come in. We jacked that up by an additional employee. We didn't hire them yet, because we don't know with the new law that came down with the requirements we have to do to have everything out the door in 45 days, whether one person could be able to handle that. Not the CCW, the sheriff or foreclosure the, yeah, sales. I'm sure, yeah, the uh, foreclosure, I'm sorry. Yeah. So, and we talked about that mm -hmm. before, yeah. so I, I figure we're just gonna let that ride. <clears throat> and if she gets just overwhelmed or something, you know, we'll just have to, just have to look at it then. Mm -hmm. And what else we got? That's it. Questions? Paul, anything? Uh, <clears throat> you know, when I look at the, the increases, they're across the board substantial from last year. Where does the auditor stand with this, and where the commissioner stand with this, as far as his well, head's going? You see, no, you see, we're sitting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so obviously, what the sheriff is asking for is needed, and we can't fund it. And it's not going to be funded. No, we've talked. But we you know, you know what would be good, and um, and I want the office to run good, and I know Paul's going to do an excellent job that instead of waiting until March to give us a final budget, you know. We usually have it in February. But if you can pull down maybe beginning of January, because there's going to be layoffs, 
we have to pay the unemployment costs for it, and that means more people got to be laid off the longer we well, wait. We, we always get it out by the end of February, mainly because we have no money, and you try to take care of courts, you try to take care of jail, and it takes us, I mean, we are plugging, moving, yeah. trying to hustle it up. So um, what happens, happens next year. I mean, without an increase in revenue, you've got to cut costs. So sometime next year, depending on the revenue stream, <coughs> decisions will have to be made. And it's going to be a departmental basis because nobody, first of all, I don't. They technically don't. They give you your budget. You have to decide if you're going to lay somebody off. So These cuts will be across the board with? You, everybody will get a budget for X dollars, and they have, they're supposed, they have to live within that budget. If they see a point where they're coming, you know, close, they come to the commissioners, request in a letter, you know, talk, we'll sit down and talk, see if we could dig up money for the shortfalls. That's how we've done it all in the past. Um, you know, we've been able to survive okay, because some people don't spend as much, so we move that money into, like, the sheriff's side, and go back and forth. The courts have helped out. They've used their capital budget in the fourth quarter to bail out some of the general funds. So. But uh, it's up to the boys. But this is quite an increase. I know there's other factors, but mm -hmm. plus you have three, three and a half over. Yeah, yeah three point yeah, it's three point seven five more roughly. Plus you have a contract coming up. Mm -hmm. right. They're going to claim the county's hiding money, which I always enjoy that part. So at this point in time, basically we have to make decisions as commissioners. Oh yeah. What we want to do to get more income. If we don't make the right decision, we're going to be broke. So plus we're losing 2.7 million in our sales tax effective July of 17. Now we may get a reimbursement temporarily from the state, but. You know, next year it'll be between six to eight hundred thousand. We're going to lose, that. and all the sales tax money, other than about three million to go for debt, everything goes to support this, the general fund. So, not to mention the sales tax, how that's going to affect the local government fund once we lose yeah, the sales tax. Exactly. Yep. So there's a lot of, uh, a lot of unknowns, unknowns at this point in time, and the state is totally worthless because they don't tell you anything. <coughs> so. well, that's the bad part about the government. If we're running, on a shoe, we're running on a shoestring and some major things happen, like this $2.7 million, it puts us in a bad situation. It happened in the city of Warren. They just passed this a tax. Now the layoffs of General Motors, they're saying, well, we may not be able to make it. Same thing happened in Niles. They passed the tax. But they did it too late. And they didn't prepare for all the future things that we're getting now that may happen. Nobody knows what the state's going to do, the changes are going to be made, and how much income we're going to have. Is it clear? Well, we don't get as many CCW down because we've got a Republican president. Hillary's <laughs> not going to 